Dear physics aspirant, right now I have the physics and chapter 6 electromagnetic induction will be discussed by me. And here the Joseph Henry, American experimental physicist, professor at uh, Princeton University and first director of the uh, Smithsonian Institution. He made important imp uh, improvements in electromagnets by binding coils of uh, insulated wire around iron pole pieces and invented an electromagnetic motor uh, and a new efficient telegraph. He discovered self-induction and investigated how currents in one circuit induce currents in another. Here you will see the chapter 6 electromagnetic induction in plus 2 level math physics and when you study then this chapter will come in the NCRT book and NCRT book provide you the great information for your understanding for the academic and competitive examinations and here you will see here introduction. Introduction is the first stage intro and electricity and magnetism were considered separate and unrelated phenomena for a long time not a short time in the early decades it means previously in of the 9th century experiments on electric current by oersted ampere and a few others established the fact that electricity as you know you are using the electricity and the magnetism are interrelated so the electricity and magnetism are interrelated, related to each other. They found that moving electric charges produce magnetic field. So the electricity and magnetism is the interrelated. For example, an electric current deflects a magnetic compass needle placed uh, in its vicinity this naturally raises the question like is the converse effect possible can moving magnets produce electric currents does the nature permit such a relation between electricity and magnetism we can say yes and the answer is resounding yes the experiments of michael faraday in england and uh, joseph henry in usa Conducted uh, around 1830, demonstrated uh, conclusively the electric currents were induced in closed coil when subjected to changing magnetic fields. In this chapter, we will study the phenomena associated with changing magnetic fields and understand the underlying principles, the phenomena in which electric current is generated by varying magnetic fields is approximately called electromagnetic induction when faraday first made public uh, his discovery that uh, relative motion between a bar magnet and a wire loop produced a small current in the latter he was asked what is the use of it his reply was what is the use of a newborn baby answer is here question is here the phenomena of electromagnetic induction here you will see the detail study is not merely of theoretical or academic interest but also but also a practical utility imagine a world where there is no electricity no electric lights no trains no telephones and uh, no personal computers the pioneering experiments of Faraday and Henry have led directly to the developments of modern day generators and transformers. Today's civilization always its progress to a great extent to the discovery of electromagnetic induction. So the credit is very important of the, these two and others and the scientists related to the electromagnetic induction. The experiment of Faraday and uh, Henry the discovery of and understanding of electromagnetic induction is based on a long series of experiments carried out by the Faraday and Henry Wiesel. Now, it describes some of these experiments. Here, you will see the photograph will provide you the information regarding the what I am saying. 
that a figure 16.1 shows that the C1 coil connected to the galvanometer, G when a north pole of the bar magnet is pushed towards the coil and pointer of the galvanometer deflects. You will see here, here is the answer. And the deflection loads, uh, the deflection loads of this deflections and last as long as the bar magnet is in motion. The galvanometer does not show us the deflection when the magnet is held stationary. When the magnet is pulled and away from the coil and the galvanometer shows deflection in the opposite side direction which indicates the reversal of the current's direct direction. Moreover, when the south pole of the bar magnet is moved towards away from the coil and deflections of the galvanometer are opposite to the observed by the north pole and similar moments further the deflections and hence current is found to be the larger when the magnet is pushed towards the pull away from the coil faster and instead when the bar magnet is held fixed in coils even as they move towards away from the magnet the same effects of the object it serves it is the radial rate of motion between the magnet and the coil that is responsible for the generation generation induction of electric current in the coil as you know the generators here as the van the bar magnet is pushed towards the coil the pointer in the galvanometer g deflects here is the here is the experiments we will meet the next experiment 6.2 will provide you the lots of information regarding the electromagnetic induction we will meet in the next session with a lot more till then thank you thanks for watching the video thank you